A prison in the United States is holding an angry prisoner. Ten years of prison life. He was very angry. Ten years ago, he and his brother robbed a huge sum of money. But just returned home a group of people broke into the house. Not only robbed all the cash, but also in front of his brother brutally killed. Today is the day he was released from prison. Johnson rage out of prison. Cannot wait to start revenge. He found the sports car, prepared by the trustees. Took a look at the information of his enemies. Fished out a revolver from under the seat. And went straight to his enemies with a kick of the gas. He walked into a company. Straight to find the photo of the man with glasses. Did not hesitate a shot. Killing the first enemy. Johnson went into a detective agency. Found the hired private detective. Got the other enemies of the information. He returned to the car and kept looking through the photos to determine the next revenge object. At the same time, a killer received a mysterious phone call. Hired him to kill a person as fast as possible. The target is none other than Johnson. It seems that Johnson's revenge action has already made other enemies aware of it. The assassin immediately starts to prepare. Taking out fake IDs. Putting fake license plates on his sports car. And taking out all kinds of weapons to fill his suitcase. He took out fake IDs, put fake license plates on his sports car, and filled his case with all kinds of weapons. As expected, Johnson soon appeared in his car, and the old man in front of him was Johnson's target this time. The old man looks old and frail but is actually a total pervert, specializing in abducting girls and drugging them in the water. Each time also used the camera to capture the crime process. However, at that moment, Johnson kicked open the door of the room. The old man was shocked to see Johnson. He tried to pick up the scissors to resist, but was shot through the palm of his hand. The old man hurriedly and bitterly pleaded, but this revenge must be repaid. Just as Johnson was about to leave, the killer crept up behind him. Fortunately, a little girl happened to be out of the door and stood between the two, and the killer hesitated for a moment. Johnson saw the opportunity to push the girl back into the room and immediately drew his gun and fired. A large caliber revolver hit the killer without a fight. The killer would not have thought that this time the opponent would be so tough. And when he calmed down and rushed into the corridor, Johnson had already come downstairs and drove away in his sports car. The two consecutive shootings quickly attracted the attention of the police. By looking at the surveillance video police found out the identity of Johnson. The original brother was killed that year Johnson was also shot in the head. He had been declared dead, but he miraculously came back to life. The bullet pierced his skull and shot out of his cheek, allowing him to recover a life. The police deduced that the two shootings were just the beginning of revenge. That very night Johnson went to a bar and set his sights on his next enemy. Jack was washing his hands after using the bathroom when a strong man suddenly appeared behind him. He was very angry when he saw his enemy in front of him. Ten years ago, it was Jack who brutally killed his brother in front of him. The moment Jack saw Johnson, he was ready to realize that only one person could leave alive tonight. The two men began to fight for their lives, but in just the first round Jack had fallen to the bottom. Johnson did not give his opponent any chance. Dying Jack asked Johnson to let his family go and told Johnson that he was just getting paid to do his job. The mastermind behind it was someone else. After saying that, he slowly closed his eyes. After taking care of Jack, Johnson drove onto the road and continued to hunt down the rest of his enemies. But on the next day, the news of Jack came over the radio. It turned out that Jack had just passed out and was being resuscitated at the hospital. Johnson immediately turned around and went straight to the hospital. On the other hand, the sheriff also received the news that Jack was not dead. He expected Johnson would definitely come back for revenge. So he came to the hospital early to keep watch. And the killer who had been chasing Johnson received information and locked the location of the hospital. Johnson arrived at the hospital, threw the guide sign to find the operating room. See Jack really did not die. Johnson directly pushed open the door. Pull out a pistol to shot. The sound of gunfire immediately alarmed the sheriff. And so he scrambled to the operating room. Johnson has disappeared without a trace. According to the nurse's guidance, the sheriff quietly chased all the way downstairs, saw Johnson, and then shot from behind to sneak in. Johnson quickly reacted to immediately draw a gun and continuous counterattack. The sheriff can only rush to hide behind the wall. Johnson shot to break the electrical box, let the sheriff lose vision while taking the opportunity to fill the pistol with bullets. At this point, the sheriff thought Johnson had escaped, so carefully up to check, but never thought that Johnson suddenly appeared in the dark. The gun has been aimed at the sheriff. He dropped his pistol and slowly fell to his knees. 
Johnson looked down and saw the badge on his waist and finally chose to let him off the hook. He started the car and quickly left. Just seen by the killers from high up, the killers immediately drove to follow. Johnson and they pulled away. The two men dodged on the highway and began a life and death chase, in order to completely lose the killer. Johnson decided to take the risk when the truck whizzed by. Johnson had raised his gun to aim at the killer, but he did not want to just kill, so he blew out the tires. The killer seized the opportunity to shoot, hit Johnson's neck. Wounded Johnson could only drive away in a hurry. He rushed back to his mother's home. After treating his wounds, Johnson looked at his brother's ashes, the flames of revenge burning again. Ten years ago because of a betrayal, he witnessed his brother was brutally murdered. He was also imprisoned. Ten years later he just completed his sentence. Just a few days he has killed three enemies. Johnson watched his brother's ashes once again on the road to find the last enemy. He drove to a sermon, and the moment he walked into the tent, the pastor's expression froze instantly. Although he was only responsible for tipping off others ten years ago, his heart has been tortured by the tragic death of Johnson's brother. So he chose to change himself and became a priest. He hoped that in this way, he could get God's forgiveness. He had expected Johnson to come to revenge, and had been ready to die. He prayed for Johnson's forgiveness, hoping to use his own death to get Johnson out of the bitterness of hatred. Johnson pulled out a pistol and aimed at his head. But at the moment, Johnson finally chose to forgive. He let the pastor back to his family. He turned to leave, the pastor lying on the ground deeply relieved. This scene was all seen by the killer. The police also determined through their investigation that the pastor was Johnson's last target, and the sheriff immediately drove to the sermon. Johnson looked at the photo of himself and his brother, gradually relieved inside. The anger also dissipated. At this point, the killer appeared in front of him with a gun. Looking at Johnson's list of revenge, the killer mockingly told Johnson, You still have a biggest enemy. The whole thing was planned by him, but also he hired me to kill you. You simply did not complete the revenge. Just when the killer was ready to strike, the sheriff arrived in time. Under the threat of the killer had to put down his weapon. But the next second... It turns out that the sheriff is the mastermind of the betrayal. Ten years ago he thought he had done everything well, but did not expect Johnson not only did not die, but in ten years later began to revenge. So he secretly hired a killer to kill Johnson. But the killer has failed many times. In order to cover up the crime, he had to choose to do it himself. C. Johnson did not move. They left the scene together. The sheriff finally got rid of the big problem in mind. In the riverside playing the phone but never thought Johnson gave him a shot from behind. The sheriff looked at Johnson incredulously. The doctor put in a piece of high-strength metal in order to help Johnson fill the bullet hole in the shot ten years ago. It seems that all this has its own arrangement. Johnson spilled his brother's ashes into the river. He finally completed the ultimate revenge. From the hatred of the release, he regained his life again on the road, opened the next chapter of life.